On today's episode. Nope. Try that again. On today's episode, updates galore, a visit to the Middle Ages, and a look at the boogie board sink. I'm John P, and this is Geek Beat. Today's episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Netflix. We've got a mighty big show for you today, so let's get right into it, shall we? First, three big Geek Beat updates. Number one, in case you hadn't heard, for the first time ever, we're offering Geek Beat t-shirts. These are a reward for the people at the $25 a month patron level, but several wanted to order extras, so we're opening up to everyone. So if you want to be sporting your geek gear, you can either hit geekbeat.tv forward slash patrons and pledge your support, or go to http colon forward slash forward slash geekbeat.tv forward slash one dash week dash only dash get dash your dash geek dash beat dash t dash shirt dash order dash in dash now. <sighs> or if you're going to complain about that, just point your browser to geekbeat.tv forward slash t-shirt dash orders. Speaking of patrons, we passed the 200 mark this weekend. So on behalf of the entire team here, thank you. Thank you. We've... <laughs> We've said it before, but every red nickel you give us goes straight to production, so it really does make a difference. And the last of the updates, the Geeks Plus community is nearing 30,000 members. We've got the best community on Google Plus, so if you haven't stopped by and joined in, please do. I'm telling you, you're going to love it, or your money back. Moving on to the news. On the Geeks Plus community yesterday, Caitlin Hart shared a very important critical expose on female armor in the Middle Ages. I molded it for the female form, so there are some slight differences in the design. Yeah, I noticed. Personally, I uh, think it's perfect. Oh, yes. Yes, excellent. Really? You don't think I could use a little more coverage? Maybe in this area? No. 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 Anything more and you begin to sacrifice mobility. <gasps> Fascinating. Fascinating. You can see the rest of this 2 minute and 47 second riveting show on the notes page at geekbeat.tv forward slash 792. Because this is episode 792. So it's forward slash 792. Uh, Swirl around there, comes with a matching whip. Goodbye. Wow, that means we're only like 16 away from episode 800. Oh my. Okay, but what are we going to do for episode? They won't even let me talk about episode. These flash beeps are getting pretty. Have you watched any good Netflix lately? I have, and it's time to give you my latest recommendations. First of all, for the whole family, The Croods. Yes! It's an animated film about the last caveman family and their trials in a hostile world. I laughed. I cried. I could see a little bit of myself in those cavemen. I could see a lot of you in those cavemen. Next up... Man of Tai Chi, starring Tiger Chen and Kino Reeves. Kino? How do you say that? Keen, Keanu? Keanu. 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 Oh. This movie has a lot of ass kissing. A lot of ass kicking. So if you like that sort of thing, watch it. Finally, I also watched Lost Girl season three. This show is completely unacceptable for children under the age of like... 25. But if you're into sex, violence, and supernatural hotties, you might check it out. Whoa. Also, don't forget that season three of House of Cards starring Kevin Spacey is coming soon. So if you haven't seen seasons one and two, bone up on them now by visiting netflix.com forward slash geekbeat for your free month of service. I think you may be overdoing it a little with these flash beeps, Dave. Let me worry about the flash beeps, you understand? The Boogie Board Sync 9.7. It's kind of what it would look like if you took a Samsung Galaxy Tab and mated it with a Wacom digitizer tablet, and then you took whatever came out of that and mated it with an Etch-a-Sketch. In fact, I think that was the development process for the boogie board. Anyway, hold on to your seats because for about 99 bucks, you can get one of these little gems that lets you write on it and see exactly what it looks like on the e-ink screen as you just scribbled it out. First of all, the bad news. I tested it out with the Mac software for syncing to your computer and also with the Android app for syncing to your phone. Yeah, they got a lot of work to do on those. They're pretty buggy. Having said that, this tablet just arrived yesterday and I couldn't even wait till Friday to open it on the live show. Sorry. Then I played around with it all friggin' night. 
It works great for just making little handwritten notes. And what's cool is that you can save and then draw all over it, hit the save button, hit the erase button, start all over. And at some point you just sync it with your computer or phone and it transfers all the doodles in one batch. It'll even upload them to Evernote, sometimes. The other bad news is that there is no erase capability if you draw outside the lines or something like that. So just don't make mistakes. Despite these drawbacks, I just can't help but love this little thing. I've already provided my feedback to the company and I hope they get the apps updated, but damn it, you should get one of these boogie boards no matter what, just to jot notes and make sketches because it's so darn awesome. Kids could use it at school, parents could use it at work, artists can sketch things anywhere, anytime. I found the device to be capable when it comes to rough sketching, although when I tried to get too detailed with a picture, it kind of fell down on that job. But hey, it's like one Benjamin, so totally worth it. That's it for today's show. If you know of something awesome that we should check out, tweet me at John Pose or email john at geekbeat.tv. Until next time, I'm...